In this video, I explain advantages and disadvantages of fluidized bed combustion system. First, we understand the advantages, and then after we understand the disadvantages. So, first advantage is FBC system can use any type of low grade fuel, including municipal waste, and therefore it is a cheaper method of power generation. Means in fluidized bed combustion system, we can use any type of fuel. Even we are able to use the waste. Okay, and when we use the waste, at that time the cost of the power generation is reduced, so it is called as the cheaper method of power generation. Second, combustion temperature can be controlled accurately and it can low enough 800 to 900. Okay, and when this temperature is limited to 800 or 900, at that time we are able to minimize volatilization of S constitute like alkali metals and if these alkali metals are not controlled then what happen so otherwise these alkali metals may deposit on the heating surface and the furnace and these alkali metal cause the foiling and corrosion problem as it is in conventional boiler so we know that in the conventional boiler temperature is very higher like as the 1500 or 1650 degree okay so at these higher temperatures the mole alkali metals are there and due to alkali metal depositions on the heating surface heating surface means on the evaporator tube coils in a superheater coil or a on a economizer tubes okay so these alkali metal is deposited on the different heating surface and they cause the corrosion and the foiling so here temperature is lower so there is a chances of corrosion and foiling are also lower third advantage low combustion temperature does not allow the formation of nitrogen oxide like the nitric oxide and the nitrogen dioxide. So, what is the meaning of low combustion temperature? Combustion temperature is near 800 to 900. So, when this temperature is above 1100 degrees centigrade, at that time this NOx production is higher and these pollutions are increased. But in the FBC boiler, what that temperature is lower and temperature is lower means the nitrogen oxides and the nitrogen dioxide pollution is reduced the size of coal does not affect on the operation and the performance of the fbc system the particle size preferable is 6 to 13 mm particle size means the coal size is 16 to 13 mm is preferable but even 50 mm size coal can also be used in the system hence the cost of Call crushing is reduced. Okay, so in some other types, the pulverize, what we do, we need to do the crushing of the call, means reduce the size of the call, then after we are able to use. But in the FBC boiler, if we use the call, have a size of 50 mm, then they are also not create the any problem on this performance and operations of the FBC system. Now, other advantage FBC system can response rapidly to change in lower demand since thermal equilibrium between air and coal particles in the bed is quickly established man what is the meaning of lower demand so lower demand is change means the steam is supplied to the turbine on the turbine the load is increase or decrease okay so when this load on the turbine is increased at that time we require the more steams okay so we need to produce the more steam okay so at that time we re re require the more steam then we need to supply the more fuels okay at that time this fbc system is give the quick response and the changes according to the lower demand due to the better heat transfer higher thermal efficiency the unit size and hence the capital cost are reduced means in the fbc system better heat transfer rate is there and due to this better heat transfers the thermal efficiency is also high and the heat transfer is higher than also the unit size is reduced because q is equal to that is a mcpdt and the mass is depends on this area okay so unit size is reduced is better heat transfer is there if better heat transfer is not there then with the unit size is increased hence the capital cost are reduced okay and no moving parts simple as and call handling system less excess air required means for smaller fan size is there hence less operating and maintenance cost 
means there is a no moving parts so when there is a no moving parts that means the less operating and maintenance cost there is a saving of about 10% in operating cost and 15% in capital cost of power plants means in a power plant we use the fbc means fluidized bed combustion system at that time our operating cost is reduced 10% and capital cost of the power plant is reduced to 15% compared to the other power other other combustion systems the addition of either dolomite in bracket calcium magnesium carbonates or limestone means that is a inert materials okay so here we can mention that the additions of the inert material produces calcium or magnesium sulfate as these react chemically with sulfur dioxide and that normally results from the combustion of sulfur in coal means this inert material so inert material may be dolomite inert material may be limestones they are react with the sulfur present in a coal okay and due to that what happen these salts are solid and remains in the combustion chambers and they don't go into the atmosphere through the chimney and this pollution is control and the combustion of higher sulfur coal is possible okay means due to the we use the inert materials in the abc so due to that the pollutions of the sulfur dioxide is reduced and even we are able to use the high sulfur coal in a fluidized bed combustion system now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering or a mechanical engineering so for more video i request to visit the playlist for the power plant various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card now we study the disadvantages of a fluidized bed combustion system so first disadvantage there may be a problem in distribution of coal and dolomites means we supply the mixture of coal and dolomites okay they are not properly distributed on the distributor plates so that is a distribution problem is there second the direct mechanical contact between hot fuel and the evaporator tube cause erosion of the tubes means we see during this working principles of fluidized based combustion system so coal is burn near to these evaporator tubes and this coal and evaporator tubes are directly in contact okay due to that that is a problem of erosion of the tubes third disadvantage high pressure air required to fluidization of the bed okay means uh, in a fluidized bed combustion system the fuel is burn in a suspended condition and we maintain the suspended condition of the coal means fuel we need to supply this high pressure air and for supplying this high pressure air we need to use the larger size of the blower or even this compressors okay so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends